coming up on our draft year, it was it was a, a tough situation in tryouts because there were a lot more goalies that came in. So uh, coming down to the wire, it was between me and another guy for the final spot. And uh, eventually, I did get the spot, and I made the team. And it was it was exciting to be able to play at that level at, at that age. It was the first time I really realized when politics came into play because the coach of this AAA team that I just made had told us that the local rep organization had called him asking him to take the other kid so that my father could coach the local rep team back home. And that was a, a, a tough pill to swallow because you, you knew you, you were in that spot fair and square and the fact that somebody wanted you to play on another team just for your dad to coach, it really uh, made you realize kind of the, the bad part of the game. But at the same time, I worked hard, I made the team and uh, the coach ended up picking me and uh, overcame those politics. Whenever I think back to that story or when I'm hearing Brock tell that story, it's been a few years since that happened and it still makes me angry to hear that. And I think it's something as parents, as adults in the hockey situation, you never ever want to do anything to undermine a child's success. Stand back, let kids try out, make sure the right person gets the spot on the team, and don't do anything to manipulate that. And as parents, when you are in a situation like that, try and take a step back, take a day, 24 hours before you send emails, before you have conversations. Luckily for me at the time, I didn't know that it was going on, and we didn't find out till after, which I think was to our benefit. But I would just say as far as politics go, please take care with young kids that are doing their best. As a coach, you just you have to be aware that parents will go to certain degrees if it can if it, if it can further where their kids can end up playing, and um, it's just one of those ones you got to be careful of. It, it happens. You, you sort of recognize it and you continue to deal with them at a professional level, but recognizing that they might be trying through their actions to sort of support their, their child end up where they want it to be. It happens. I would say there's always been politics involved and that's been part of the learning experience for them because there's politics in life. When I first started coaching I was sort of naive to it all because growing up my parents like we never talked about my line mates or other kids. Like, it just never happened so I was really naive to it all so I definitely learned some hard lessons early when I started coaching with parents doing that and, and it working for them or they're manipulating their way to change. But since I realized that, I've, at the level I'm at, I, I adopted a policy where you're not going to talk to me about ice time. You're not going to email me, you're not going to text me, you're not going to anything. If, if there's any issues with ice time or power play time, your son has to come to me and take ownership of his career. And since I've instituted that policy, it's been, <laughs> it's been great. Like, I haven't if a parent wants to talk to me about junior camps or where to train or that, I'm doors open all the time. But if it's about ice time, I, I won't even respond. And since I've had that policy, it's been great. I think there's only been one or two parents over the last five years that have really stepped over the line, which has been great because then you're not dealing with it at all. Even the politics within organizations, I know when I was growing up, some organizations might try to lure players um, from their district, uh, possibly, you know, promising them bikes or TVs or whatever it may be. You know, I'm here to coach the kids and, and we try to work with the parents and we try to help them and, and you, know, you know, try to build some trust in, in the coaching staff and that we know what's best for them. Um, but, you know, it's, 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 that's a tough one because, I mean, it's hard to, you know, to, if, you know, if a parent's not, you know, a nightmare but the kid's a great kid, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty tough to, to hold that against the kid and, and you just, you know, you try to support the kid and, and help him kind of build through it. and. Uh, make sure that the, you know, and you can try to help the parents a little bit along the way. The kids are playing, you aren't, so just watch your kids and, I don't know, be respectful to everyone, I guess. I don't know if I should say this, but I told him years ago that you will need to make it on your own. I will never pretend to be friends with someone just to get you ahead. That's something you're going to have to do on your own, and sometimes that won't always work. That's politics. But as you become an adult, politics play a role in life, and you have to deal with it. Um, rise above it and just keep working hard and push through and he gets that. If you're a parent and you're talking to someone in a position of authority, whether it be a coach or a scout, um, it's important not to put down other kids. For one, it's going to get back to the team and probably to the kid that you're putting down and even though you might think it's a secret, everyone knows who's talking about who. Uh, the hockey world is a small world and just make sure you're not putting down other kids to try and make your kid look better because I guarantee you it's not going to do you 
or your kid any good. And when it comes to politics, it's important for the kid to remember the hockey player to just play through it. It should be, uh, the hockey world should be evaluated on what you do on the ice and how good of a person you are off it. So make sure you do everything on the ice, you work hard, you play your best, and I think that is where the evaluation is gonna come into play, not what a parent says to a coach or a scout. For more information on the Lessons from Behind the Glass video series, visit bchockey.net or lessonsfrombehindtheglass.com.